the blood dripping for you with the game. Jack, no? No el elevation. No anything. elevation, nothing. No, pro no progress, no nothing. And that shows you too that, you know, Jake doesn't want to repent. Yeah. Yeah. Because a part of repenting is so feeling sorry for yeah. all the wicked things yeah, you have done, right? Yeah. You're yeah. feeling yeah. sorry for your sins by transgressing the laws. So that should show you that Jake doesn't right. repent. Because you have, to, oh, you have to take account okay. of the wicked things you're doing. Yeah. And like you say, man, they don't want to take the of instructions, man. They don't want to, they don't want to change their ways. Right? And that's a part of our man. You know, being held accountable. Give me a second and you change your ways. Exactly. It says, but he that draw truth coming to the light, that his deeds may be manifest, that they are wrought in the most high. There we go. So if your spirit is of truth, you're gonna come into the light. And that's us. We always dealt with truth. Even though we was in darkness at one point, we still conducted ourselves in truth. And the most high have guided us towards the light. Where our deeds are made manifest, which is doing what? Coming out here and preaching the word. Alright? Preaching the gospel, preaching the words of Yahweh Bashmael Shai, which is true. That our deeds may be manifest towards the most high. That's why you got the angels right now recording us and sending us and sending back our works towards our Lord. So when he comes back, everything that we have done is made manifest and we receive salvation. It's not so hard to understand, man. You niggas is gonna understand it with all hell break loose and we're laughing at your face. When our roundhouse kick your black ass upside your skull, man, and put your ass to death, man. Cause there ain't gonna be no mercy in that day no more, man. This is the mercy right now, man. You have you seeing the mercy right now when you're seeing us on YouTube, man. We ain't time to be playing no fucking games no more, nigga. You see what this fucking crack is trying to do to our goddamn people, man. Jab them up, stab them up, camp them out, man. Poison them up, exterminate them. Yet you still wanna be a henny drinking. Chicken eating nigga, man. Get it together. The most I ain't playing no fucking games no more, man. This is war, man. We got enemies, man. The Arabs is our enemies. The Cracker is our main enemy, man. The Chinese is our enemies. The Japanese is our enemies. They don't they don't want us to benefit. Because our benefit is their downfall. Wake up, man. But we know you're not gonna wake up. Because Heavenly Father don't want you to wake up, nigga. Got that? Second Ezra 8, I believe it's the 51st verse. Second Ezra 8 and 51. It says, but I'm just. Establish righteousness upon the earth. So everything with corruption will be brought down the east of the 
so for white men, our chief enemy is gonna be brought down, and we're gonna be in rulership. And we're gonna build we're gonna build our kingdom up by the hands of the heathen, you know? And it's gonna be peace, it's gonna be rest, it's gonna be the time. Because it's scripture, what it's gonna say, it's, um, we have a plus a, a place of us, I think in Hebrews. In Hebrews 11, here we don't have no kids in the city, alright? But we look for one to come. That's what we're fighting for. That's what brothers are ready to die for. This may be, you know? Um, it says, verse 53, the rule of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness, no, so like it, 54, sorrows are past, and the, and the end is showed the treasure of immortality. Yeah, sorrows are past. See, brothers, you're not supposed to be sorrowful right now, man. You, the Most High chose you, gave you this eternal knowledge, and Lord willing, you're going to inherit eternal life. What the hell you got to be sad about? You're not going to die no more, man. What the hell you got? Yeah, you, you, your finances might be low, your woman might be nagging and shit, but that's temporary at the end of the day, man. Right. That's, that's temporary, worldly, moral shit, man. You know? If you're up the elect, very soon, the Most High is going to plead your cause, and you're going to inherit everlasting life. You ain't going to have to worry about uh, money. You ain't going to have to worry about your family, food, water, survivability, man. All that's going to be a thing of the past. That's right. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Yeah, so don't ask questions about these two-third wicked ass niggas. Fuck these niggas out here, man. I'ma say that again. Fuck niggas, man. Who gives a goddamn about some smoking, tatted up, drilled nigga, man, from the hood, man? Tyrese. Alright? Who ain't gonna change his ways, man? The most I don't give a damn about him. And that's right, we hate the two-thirds up here, man. You're supposed, that's, you're supposed to hate two-thirds of Israel, man, because they set progress back. A goddamn nigga. It's like that interview of, of those niggas in the barbershop. Got, got a Hebrew character tatted. Paul Cain, yeah. yeah. Paul Cain. Niggas like that, man. That know the truth, but won't go into the truth, man. Fuck Paul Cain, yeah, They was scared to even talk about what was, what was going on behind closed doors. Yeah, because they don't lose all their money. Yeah. You niggas ain't about shit, man. Y'all watch us. We ain't about shit, nigga. You say you a tough guy on your raps? Yeah, we'll see during Jacob's trouble, nigga. We're gonna see who lasts, man. But all hell break loose out here, and, and, and uh, it's, it's survival of the fittest. Go ahead. That's right. It says, it says, therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of the parish, for when they had taken liberty, they despised the most high. They, they, so like a don't scorn of his law and forsook his ways. And that's what the liberty is right now. You go on YouTube and type in Great Millstone and find hundreds if not thousands if not tens of thousands of videos of brothers each and every day bringing out the word, man. Out there on the highways and the byways, breaking down the scriptures, giving you the food to spiritually feed you, increasing your knowledge so you may stand in the evil day. Thousands of videos, man, every single day. That's the liberty. It says, moreover, they have trodden down his righteousness. They have trodden down the righteousness. You may uh, hear a brother say something you don't like. You get overly emotional. And you say, you know what, man? I'm done with this Israelite stuff, man. I don't want to hear this no more. You know? It says, and said in their heart that there is no power. And they said in their minds that there is no God, man. There's no Yahweh. For you to say something like that, man, you're just a complete reprobate, bro. You avoid a judgment. You sincerely think nothing's going to happen to you. You sincerely think things are going to go on. You're going to grow old. There's going to be no destruction. Everything everything to you is just Final Fantasy, man. Disney World, man. Nickelodeon ass nigga, man. Holly Jolly ass nigga, man. Read on. It says, and that no one, they must die, but as the things aforesaid shall receive you, so thrust and pain are prepared for them. There we go. For that's, that's the judgment for you denying the Heavenly Father, for you denying your Lord, your Creator. All right? Our our Lord, man. This ain't the Arabs' Lord or the, or the Moabites' Lord. This is our Lord, man. The only God, man. You denied Him. So you know what the punishment is? You're going to get thrust through, nigga. Whether you get an M16 or a 50 cal in your head to split your fucking wig open, or whether you get hanged, whether you get drowned to death. There's going to be all types of gruesome deaths for you two-thirds out here, man. Yeah, yeah. All types, man. Most High is going to open it up 100%. Not only that, you're going to have to worry about his men with that power. Because it's men. The Lord's men, they're going to be hunting celebrities down too. 
all you, you know, there's certain celebrities, the Lord's men, they just gonna hunt you down just for the fun of it, man. Right. All you gangsta ass niggas like Wack 100, we don't see how gangsta you niggas really are, man. During that, during that time period, man. I, me personally, I'm going to the hood. I'm going to the hood, I'm gonna test all these niggas gangsters, man. Right. On some real shit. You don't see how tough you niggas really are, man. Scripture said they should be like into women in that day, That's man. right. Yep. All these hardcore niggas, they're all gonna be like little bitches when, when you see the wrath of the Lord. That's right, right. You know? I got something for you. In 2nd Edges chapter 9, verse, verse uh, 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. It says they shall be in pitiful case. So they're gonna be like, oh shit. Damn, man, we had the internet. We could have went on and, and learned all of this about the Bible. But I, I was in a club drinking 40s and mimosas, man. <laughs> Smoking backwards. <laughs> Fuck, man. They shall be in pitiful case. Why? Which which now have abused my ways. Which now have abused my ways. Because there's certain niggas, man. They, they smoke weed by watching the videos, man. They eating, they eating fucking pork by watching the fucking videos. The bacon, egg, and cheese by watching the apostles, man. And we know that there's niggas like y'all out there, man. Yeah, I'm Ezekiel 33. Yeah, we are, we are the song up to yeah. them. But they hear the words and they will not do them. That's right. They'll acknowledge you, hey, I know. You guys are right. But uh, I'm going to still do me. You don't have that fear. You don't have that godly fear, man. And then on top of that, you see family members and close friends doing the right thing and you still don't consider. You know what? It says, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torment. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. So you're going to get tortured, you're going to get waterboarded, you're going to get hung upside down and left there, you're going to starve to death, your hands is going to get chopped off, your rods going to get chopped off, your feet is going to get chopped off, and guess what? The Most High is still going to keep the spirit in you for you to, for you to go through that pain, man. So scripture and revelation says that in that day they shall see death yeah, yeah. and shall not find it. Mm. Imagine you just walking around with all your guts just hanging out. And you just want to give up the ghost, but you can't. That's pain. That's torture, man. Read on. It says, for such as in their it's like it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, that's Jake. They got uh two, three million dollars in the bank. Nothing to worry about. They don't got to worry about uh, what they're going to eat. They drive the finest cars. They got their family together. They got they got so-called uh, friendships in the world. They got all these nice and uh, dandy things, but yet they don't wake up every day and say, the wadi al bashim al shad, all that he, he has done for me. Right. Meanwhile, there's a poor in spirit. There's a poor, they don't got nothing. And they still, every hour of the day, it's the wadi al bashim al shad for bringing upon me the good and the evil, man. First of all, 11. It says, um, and they that have loathed my law while they yet, so like, it says, while they had yet liberty and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not. Understood not. If we're going to look at the definition of the word loathe, look at that word loathe. Loathe in the um, ethamononline.com, it's old English. It says, be hateful or displeasing. Hey. Hateful. So they that hate my law. Can you read that again, Baba Kusha? It says, and they that have loathed my law. Loathed meaning hate. Go on. While they had yet liberty. While they had yet liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. Via the prophets, not by the internet. Through the lessons that we teach every day. Right. Coming out on the highways and the byways every weekend. Right. Read on. Understood not. Understood not. See, Jake don't even uh, Jake don't even say within themselves, hey, let me just take the time out and research what these guys are actually talking about. The other niggas don't even do that. Yeah, you say they don't even consider it. Like you have you have TikTok, you have Instagram, you have Facebook, you have the internet, you don't even do Google search, nigga. So I have no pity upon the goddamn nigga, man. That's right. No pity at all, bro. My heart is frozen right now towards two thirds, man. My heart is completely black towards two thirds of his I have no compassion to I'm just be looking at niggas starving. I'm just be looking at you niggas like No, word up, bro. You have, you're gonna have to be like that during that day, man. Come, come. No mercy upon two thirds, man. Right. Unless the most I put the spirit on you to have mercy on that man. 
David said, don't I hate thee that, that hate them that hate you? Yeah. No. David hated whoever hated the Lord. And right. two-thirds, yeah. they hate the Lord. Yeah. Okay? Two-thirds of Israel hate the Lord. They way show it. Another word for it, it says, um, for low, it says to be hate, to hate, to be disgusted with. Yeah. And, and, I, and I showed the, the, the little lesbian trick. It, it shows, you know what I mean? Yeah. She was disgusted with the, what the brother was saying. You know? Disgusted with, with, the, with the words of the Lord, you know? Right. They don't want to hear that, you know? That's why you have people sometimes that come up, I don't want to hear, tell me what you feel, I don't want to hear that. They, 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 they trying to um, shy away from the truth, all right? They don't want to hear it, they disgusted with it. Yeah. They want to do their own thing, you know? Yeah. Scripture says, speak unto a smooth thing, man. Have smooth thing. It say, cause yeah. the Holy One of Israel to cease from among us, man. Ooh, yeah. You know? So they don't want anything to do with the Most High. Wow, that's heavy. Even when Yahweh was shot. Yep. The word made flesh even when Yahweh Shai was actually physically on the earth. Yep. They hated Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. They, That's right. They, they tried to throw Yahweh Shai off, off a damn cliff, man. Yep. So they spit on Yahweh Shai. And what they, they, like they called Yahweh Shai the devil. Yep. They also said we have no king but Caesar. Yeah. They, 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 was, they was cheering for the Yahweh Shai to be put to death. What's, what's, the, what's the cat name? The, um, that was Arabus? The, no, the um, other dude. The, the Roman. Oh, uh, uh, Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate was like, yo. He's, this man ain't got no fault. Yeah, I mean, he was the governor of Judea yeah. at the time, man. A, a damn cracker, man. They like, nah, nah. You got Israel like, nah, nah. Do away, kill him. We have no king but Caesar. That's what they were saying. So when when the judgment come down, you know, reincarnation is real. So they coming back and they lie. And this time, when that judgment come, like the brother say, you gotta, you gotta say fuck the niggas. You ain't gonna feel sorry for them. Cause the Lord, is, and here it is. The Lord is still showing mercy. Cause the prophets is here right now. As we speak, this is the Lord's mercy right now. So it is what it is. You know. Yeah, no problem. It says, and they that have loved my Lord, while they had yet liberty. Yeah, they got liberty now. What what the, the gates of mercy is open when the prophets is in the street. All right. They, this is the mercy. They can become getting this knowledge, but they choosing to do their own thing. Go ahead, brother. When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, yep. understood not, but despised it, the same must know it after death by pain. So that's the judgment. Ooh. The same must know it after death by pain, all right? So that is going to be a gruesome. A scripture tell you that how horrible is the, is, the, is the death of this wicked generation or something like that? And, and wisdom of Solomon? It's horrible, all right? It's going to be kids dying, mothers crying, right. all right? Babies, babies getting eaten by their own mothers. You know, the cannibalism on, on, on wild beasts tearing shit up. The Lord is going to show it, show it. The Lord is known in his judgments, all right? He's going to show He going to show out in them days. And he's going to show who he's dealing with, you know? So that's why you got to come into this thing with sincerity, all right, and meekness, and fear the Lord, which is reverence, knowing who your power is, all right? Trying to get rid of Jamaica, because we all deserve death, that's right. you know? The Lord said in Psalms 130 and 3, that thou markest iniquity, who shall stand? None of us are stand, because we all committed sin, you know? But that's the difference between us and two-thirds, all right? We got sorrow for the things we did. We feeling bad, all right? We like, oh shit, we got cut in the spirit. We like, oh nah, I gotta get right with my maker. I'm gonna get on my knees and pray. You get what I'm trying to say? Niggas don't even do that. Niggas don't even do that. Niggas think, niggas think everything's of their own will, as if you got the power to breathe. Like the Lord, like you, like you, like, like, like you breathing on your own. Like you moving on your own, like you did it, everything is on your own. Jake don't consider things like that, you know? But hey, that's that sorry for you. I'd rather you rather you than me. I'm gonna just say it like that. And Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect, as well as you brothers that's fighting for righteousness. You know? Go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 8. Which none of the princes of this world. First Corinthians 2 and 7, where we speak with the wisdom of the Most High in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which the Most High ordained before the world unto our glory. Yeah, so really, this, uh, these uh, prophecies, the breakdowns, they're a mystery to the people of the world, man. If you get Colossians uh, 1 and 26, Mabakushah, that mystery was revealed to the Lord's servants as prophets. As it is written in uh, Amos 3 and 7, the right. Most High doeth nothing but reveal it to secrets until it serves the prophets. That's why we could clearly understand this mystery, man. Go on. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for they had known it 
They would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Exactly. So if they would have known it, they would not crucified Yahweh Shah. If they would have known the scriptures, they wouldn't have crucified Yahweh Shah. If they would have known the prophecies of the scriptures and the power of the Most High, they wouldn't have crucified the Son of the Lord, man. And you could apply that to today. If Jake understood this word, or understood or knew who the Heavenly Father was, they wouldn't come up against us. They'll be agreeing with us. They'll be Israelite camps on every corner, man. There'll be tens of, there'll be tens of, uh, 10 million Israelite camps, man. 10 million Israelite men on the streets cursing out this damn devil, man. But the society, society would have been collapsed. Oh, hell yeah. Jake would have just wanted to him. No, man, or take, like, it was, you know, it's straight for numbers. But that's why the Lord is going to show his power by just, Delivering a, 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 a small, that small remnant, all right? Because 144,000, as well as the rest of the one third, compared to two thirds, is a, it's, 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 it's numbers. I'm gonna just say that 144,000 compared to 7.6 billion people is 0. 0.00008%. That's an extremely small number, man. But that's how the Most High is gonna exalt Himself through that small number. Such a small number could do such great things. One person taking down tens of thousands of people. Right? Surely the most I have to be with the woman. One man calling down five from heaven. Surely the most I has to be with him. Oh yeah, real quick. This is uh Sirach chapter three verse nineteen. Many are in high place and of her now, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. That's self-explanatory. Hey, did you get a first Corinthians the first chapter? Where it says not many mighty are called, not many noble. Because that's who the Lord deals with. The meek, the lowly, the nobodies. That's all he dealt with, man. The ones that you least expected. Right. That's all for that. Um Psalms 37, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, man. So the Heavenly Father is always the one that uh, deals with the nobodies, man. The ones that you least expect. Mm -hmm. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 5. Many kings have sat down upon the ground, and one that was never thought of have worn the crown. There you go. Ooh, that's heavy. What's an example of that? King David. David wow. yep, that's right. King yep. David was, was never expected to be the, the king of Israel, man. Right. He was scrawny. He was small. But the both sides set him apart from all of his mighty brothers and made him greater than all of them, man. That's right. That's heavy, bro. By destroying Goliath. And, then, and if you go into the history, Goliath was at least eight or nine feet tall, and King David was about like five, five foot four. Mm -hmm. But through his faith, and Yahweh was shy, he pierced Goliath through his skull, man, with a pebble, man. A rock. A small rock. Right? Yeah, man. Psalm 34, verse 18. The Lord is not unto them that are of a broken heart and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. Sorrowful, man. The ones that know that they fucked up. The ones that, they, that hate their lives, man. The ones that hate their lives, man. You gotta, in order for you to be in this truth, you gotta hate your life. You gotta hate the condition of this life. Like, why the fuck am I down here for, man? Wake up every day just to see two men kiss. Me. What the hell is that, man? I gotta wake up my, my children back talking me, and I can't do nothing about it because they wicked ass mother. Woman could tell you, nigga, you ain't shit, nigga. Curse you, curse your ass out. You can't smack that bitch upside her goddamn head, man. You know? I'm supposed to hate this damn place, man. It's corny, it's played out. It's out of order. It, it's 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 uh not beneficiary, not beneficiary to creation. Creation does not benefit from the things that happen in America. Even in them Arab countries, man, they laugh at these damn Americans. The Europeans, they laugh at these damn Americans, man, how we live, man. Right? They laugh at us, man.
exactly. The, the, or even when we go into the prophecies, the deepness of the scriptures, there's uh, top scholars and uh, Harvard PhDs, there's niggas that went to fucking Princeton and uh, Yale and still can't see that the white man is the devil. They still can't see that the white man is the goddamn devil. Meanwhile, you got a PhD at Princeton, man. Supposedly. I'm not the most high made foolish the wisdom of this world. Yeah, your college degree, which don't mean a damn thing. You just wasted four years of your life in, in student loan debt. And you still don't know who the Heavenly Father is. You don't even know your nationality, man. You call yourself black. Meanwhile, you so you supposedly have a prestigious degree at a university. But you're a black man, right? Black, the color black is a nation now, huh? Or, but after that, in the, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. The world by wisdom knew not. Meaning, you could go to these top institutions, they still can't explain to you who the Heavenly Father is, man. They, can't, they still can't explain to you the Most High's judgments, man. Go on. It reads, it pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Because what we're doing coming out here preaching is foolish. Really, it's a foolish thing. But, but guess what, I'll be a damn fool. I'll be the biggest clown on earth as long as it pleases the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. I'll be a clown, man. As long as it pleases the Most High, man. That's right. We come out here every Saturday, whether it's hot, snowing, raining, uh, below 30, below 10 sometimes. Yeah. This, this to the world. This is this is an asshole. This is something stupid, man. You go. There's no. It's never really a crowd of people listening to us. But yeah, we be out here every Saturday for years pushing this work. That's why the law considered it foolish. But here it is. You got a guy that he got a, a master's in theological school, but he can't break down a, a Revelation 13, 9 and ten. He can't break down none of the Revelation. Matter of fact, it's good to say they say to them the book is sealed. Ultimately, the Most High don't need us. Man. The Most High don't need us to come out here and preach. You know, that's why it's foolish. Because the Most High could wake up Israel like that. You know, that's why it's a foolish thing. The Most High don't really need us. Most High can set up stones. Yeah, you know, right. you know, he don't need us. You know, he, he used us for us to show it our faith. Uh -huh. You have all one or two. You just snap it in your head. You have all the knowledge in your head. That's so right. That that wouldn't be that would that be meaningless because it would it, it wouldn't be no way for us to show our faith. So coming out here is just a format for us to show sh showcase our faith towards the Lord. That's right. Let me just um, read this up real quick. Um, Ezekiel 11 and 16. Therefore, therefore say, thus say to the Lord, Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the country, yet I will be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where, where they shall come. So this is really why we don't see the majority here. It's just it's small. No, look at it again, very small. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see like a, 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 a large crowd standing right here to, to receive this knowledge. But this, this was um, a concert with uh, what is this guy named? Uh, Astro World, the Astro World. What is his name? Travis, oh, Travis Scott. Scott. Travis Scott. It was oh, a yeah. Travis Scott concert. Shit, it'll be like uh, how many people in attendance? Thousands of people in attendance. Yeah. That, that Kanye West concert. Oh yeah. He didn't even see it. Say nothing. He just played his album and niggas paid how much money to get in there? Right, right. He packed up the stadium. That's right. And it was useless. It was useless information. And he had what a well, stocking, a stocking, yeah, stocking. Yeah. 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 But I had um Slocky. Yes. You know, because Nate said we snow doubles. Now a dummy in an urban dictionary means um a slang to address everybody uh, no no to to Slocky. It means I a, a stupid person or a silly person. So when it, when the scriptures say that, you know, we're we're like fools. It makes sense. That's why a nigga like Nate would say, you know, we're snow buttons. Implying that we're stupid for being out here in the snow. But let's believe that's a greater faith to you. That's right. Yeah, um, Washington. He said that. What is 
say that. Fun. It's not good for sound now from now on. Oh, but y'all niggas in y'all studio, from the studio sessions, we out here doing the real work, man. Just right. plowing, man. Field. I was that lazy niggas in the, in the field. You know, it was time to uh, to reap that at the time before y'all wasn't doing nothing. And then when it was uh when it was time to harvest, the niggas was begging. Right. Okay, I got son. It's uh, Matthew 11 and 25. At, at that time, Yahweh Shai answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them unto babes. Yeah, man. Who the wise and prudent, man? Okay, the, the, the top scholars, all right? Um, yeah, the, the, the top scholars of this, of this world, like you need a degree to learn the Bible. Yeah. Okay? Like you need a, you know, you got all these jackasses out here, God filled and all this. Yeah, see, see, the Exodus never happened and this. And I wrote my book on it and I, even the top scholars reviewed it. Who the, who the fuck are the top scholars, man? You know? They ain't nothing. Those are the wise and the prudent that the Most High rejected in this world, man. The Most High is, is, is dealing with um, the lowly, the humble, the babes, man. Okay? The Most High is dealing with the average Joe. Okay, it ain't about how much knowledge you have in the society, man. You got it. This is Psalms 138 and verse 6. Though the Lord, Yahweh, be high, yet he have respect unto the lowly. But yeah, the man. proud he knoweth afar off. Ooh. Hey, you can read that again. <laughs> this is um, Psalms 138 and verse 6. Though the Lord be high, yet he hath respect unto the lowly. Yeah, yeah the most high is the is, is, the most high is, is the highest, man. The most high can be proud. Why can he's the most high? But what? Even in that he has respect unto the lowly, you know? And that's that's the um the humble. Okay? Go on. It says, but the proud he knoweth will fall off. Yeah, but the proud he knoweth will fall off, man. So the most high is not dealing with Anybody who takes pride in, you know, whatever they do. Sure. The Most High is dealing with the lowly. He rejected the wise and prudent, and he dealt with the what? The babes. Hey, even the Most High dealt with Moses, man. Moses was um, lowly. And what? It, Moses wasn't, um, um, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't learned, man. In the, in the, in the Hebrew. Okay, he knew, he knew um, what Moses was coming out of Egypt. Okay, but that goes to show you, even Moses wasn't wise and prudent, at, but the Most High dealt with him, man. He wasn't learned in um, uh, in, in the Hebrew. Okay, Moses was the average man. The Most High raised him up, and that's the same thing the Most High is doing with Israel today, man. Okay, he's dealing he's dealing with the average Israelite. Okay, I got some real quick. Uh, this Acts four and thirteen. Uh, all right, Acts 4 and 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had married our child. <laughs> to show you, man. But so, so, because when Yahweh Shah, you know, um, took the apostles, he didn't, they wasn't, they wasn't already um, scholars. They wasn't top scholars back, back during the time of the Romans. Yeah, no, they were different class, classes, uh, social classes during the time of the Roman Empire. That's right. When they had, they had uh, higher learning of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And they knew that these people, they didn't go to these higher learning to learn about the scriptures and learn of the law. Know, and they could see that they were Yahweh Shah the way they were speaking. They were speaking as, you know, men that understand the scriptures. And they know for sure they didn't go to these scriptures. Right? right. And, and um, what, um, Peter, Peter, um, and Andrew, what? They were they were fishermen, you know? They, they, they had regular professions. Just like uh, us brothers out here, that's teaching the word, man. We, hey, we, we, have regular jobs, man. We have regular jobs, and the Lord, you know, brought us into this truth. Okay, we didn't go to no top 
of top schools to learn to learn the scriptures. Okay, the Most High called us into this thing, and the Most High, you know, through the Spirit, and the Spirit gave us this knowledge. You know, through our apostles and elders. Got it. Matthew 29, uh, Matthew 23, verse 29. Uh, for you, modern day scribes and Pharisees. He said, Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because he built his tombs of the prophets and guards the sepulchres of the righteous. And say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. And that's what you say. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys. If, if you have a shot, John the Baptist, or any of these prophets on the scene today, y'all would reject them. Y'all call them bumps. You know, y'all wouldn't let them in y'all congregation to, to, to worship with you. You see? But, speaking of your outside, you say you, you wouldn't have done that. But look how y'all would check down the elders. Right. And wish they didn't do anything wrong, but y'all constantly slander them. But continuing on, verse 31. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourself that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. And, and y'all might not do it physically as of yet, but y'all doing it spiritually. Everything that, that the elders say, which is right, y'all y'all going against, y'all condemning. This rape allegation, which is uh, according to the Bible slander, how we raping children. Which according to the law, if we want to, put the charges. Because <laughs> we have no proof for that. That's all uh, false allegations. But I think I think the same thing y'all was shot. Verse 32. Oh. No, 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 that's right, that's right. Yeah, I had one nigga the other day tell me that I sacrificed him. <laughs> <laughs> Bumalites, snow dummies. Y'all were them guys back then, man. That was condemning you how a shot for his works. That's right, bro. Yeah, that's right. That's right, real quick. Um, this is um Matthew 11 and verse 29. Yahweh yeah, shot speaking in the reeds. Alright, so let's close it. Alright, so let's get all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rahman, Gash. The Lord is the Apostle, the Great Bosom, the Bell. This is how you take it to the Lord. Thank you, Yahweh